Hey hello everyone this is Jagdish and welcome to a new ghost hunting game called Ghost Watchers. I think this game is only been out for like what couple of days and I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. So we're going to check it out and hopefully you guys are excited too. If you are subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to leave the like and without any further ado let's get started. All right, I already completed the training base. So we can just play the single player I guess. Uh, the music is creepy, of course. Uh, we can do the... Oh, school. Police station. I mean, we're gonna do the house first. Alright, let's go. Always a jump scare, you know? That's the best way to do it. Alright, it's fine. So, there is apparently a feature where you can capture the ghost with a Pokeball. This is a Pokeball and you can apparently catch the ghost. We're gonna have to do that. Oh, there we go. All right. And also one of the interesting features that I like about this game is you can actually buy the stuff. Uh, when you see, for example, let's say you want to buy the boat, right? You can only buy four times. It's not like you can constantly buy uh, all the stuff. It's not like that. So I really like it. But uh, the only thing I don't know about this particular feature is if I buy, like, let's say if I buy four lighters, do I get my money back? That's the question. I don't know. Alright, uh, enough of that. Let's go pick up a strong flashlight. Uh, hello, I want to pick up, not the throw. Uh, let's bring the thermo and then this one, maybe. Okay, seems like a good idea, right? And also, a weird thing about this game is... Okay, the ghost is active. Uh, as I was saying, the weird thing about this game is you actually have to, like... You can't use the flashlight when you switch over to other items, which I cannot see anything here. There is a giant light right in front of my face, so I cannot see anything. So I, I need my flashlight. Or maybe I can turn the brightness on. Hold on. Okay, I think this helps. What do you guys think? Because I can't see anything. Like, without the light, I can't see anything. Alright, let's go. We're getting temperature readings and... Okay. If I go here, right? Let's say I this one, this one, just random stuff. Oh, I don't need to do that. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, if I go to phrases, I can say all of these things, apparently. Let's say we are friends. Uh, we are friends. Can you talk? Can you talk? I don't know how this game works, man. Can you talk? Can you speak? Okay. Let's turn on the lights. Shall we? Can you talk? It's gonna jump scare me out of nowhere. All about the jump scares, man. This game is all about the jump scares. Alright. Come on. What do you got for me? Where are the lights? Oh, there's a light here. Well, you suck. It touched the door. Oh, this is not a Phasmo. I was like, check for fingerprints. No, this is, we can't do that. Okay, you know what? This is not going well. Apparently, it'll give you... Hold on, let me, if I go here, right? Um, hold on. If I go to radio, it will either cry or growl. So it's supposed to give you that. Can you talk? Maybe I should go upstairs. Can you talk? Can you speak? Where are you? Can you speak? Where are you? I feel like I'm about to get attacked. So the way you can escape the hunt in this game. Hold on. I don't need this. I don't need this. So, apparently the way you can escape is using one of the protective items, which in this case we can use the Jesus. Let me bring this and this. This is, a, this is an interesting take on ghost hunting, I would have to say. We can just set up everything in the entrance. We can put that there. Give me my flashlight. I have Jesus. You, you cannot do anything. Hello? Alright. Can you talk? Are you... You see that? It's crying. 
I should get out of here. Okay. So radio crying. We got that. So a Ouija board, it can either doesn't interact or moves side to side and moves randomly. And we have to collect like evidences for every single thing. Let me get an EMF. I don't need this. We need EMF because it's one of the evidences. Uh, is this EMF? Yep. Okay, what else we have? Okay, let's check here. EMF, thermo, we have already thermo in there. Oh, footprints, of course, footprints. We need UV light for that, which is this one. Uh, excuse me. All right. What was that lag? Okay. So the way you get UV is it just walk. Oh, you see that? It's a footprint. So there are different ways of footprints. Footprints, right? So if I go here, doesn't leave traces, blood stains, baby, pentagram. I don't know what this is. Let's let's see this again. This is normal, right? This is this is not baby. Is this baby? I don't think that's baby. Okay, I don't know what that is. Hold on. You know what? I will go inside. What are you gonna do? You, you're gonna kill me? Try it. I dare you. Try it. Okay, footprints, pentagram. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't leave traces is definitely not the answer. Blood stains is interesting. Baby, pentagram. What is this? Uh, maybe baby? I don't know. Let's do the EMF, I guess. Okay. Where is the ghost? Okay. EMF 1. Okay. The ghost is close. I think. No EMF. So what are our EMF options? I want to know. So if I go to EMF. 1, 2, 3, 5. Red 3. I don't know what red 3 means. Okay. Maybe we get a red EMF 3. I don't know. Okay, it's hunting. Oh, it's dragging me, Brad. This is this is pretty cool, actually. It just drags you like random location. EMF three, as you can see. I think I think I know what the red means. It will show you the EMF, and the bar below the EMF will go to the red. Okay, that makes sense. It's just EMF three. So the child, we're dealing with the child, guys. I think footprints baby makes sense because we're dealing with a child. Oh yes, thermo and there is one more thing, particle counter. So the way we can do that, right? If I can get out of here somehow, alive, please. I don't know where I am. Okay, I'm going downstairs. EMF3, we already know that. Where am I? Oh, here, okay. We don't need this. We do need Jesus. So the way we can tell the particle counter, as far as I know, is we grab uh, this one, I think. Yep. We grab this one. All right. We can use this thing, which will tell us the age of the ghost. Have you interacted? With oh, voodoo doll. Okay. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Let me explain. So the voodoo doll just went up in the air. So that's an evidence. And if I can pick up my flashlight, I will show you how the this works so it it is going sideways right okay let me mark that emf not emf not thermo particle counter we don't know that so a Ouija board is from side to side and voodoo doll throws a doll raises a voodoo all right we're getting there slowly but surely we need particle counter and thermo let's pick up the thermo i think i placed my thermo somewhere this one i think okay so the way we get the particle counter is you have to be close to the ghost and it will start the count and once it reaches there we go we missed the ghost apparently is it upstairs or this way i think this way no upstairs okay it just goes like 10 5 15 and then it will give you the number uh, you'll see what I mean. Oh, it's literally right here in the entrance. We need to get this number to 100. I don't know if you guys can see this because I sure can't. 
It might be too bright. Alright, here we go. It will... 100 to 500. Okay. That's a hunt. We can escape the hunt or we can use the Jesus to protect ourselves. Let's hunt it. Hunt me. I don't care. It's a child. That is a child. So, as you can see, before the hunt, we have three... Uh, I don't know what that means. Okay, let's take a minute. If I see my Jesus, right? There is only two things attached. I don't know what you call rope. Maybe rope. So, basically, we used one of the ropes and we survived the hunt. That is a hunt. We can just get out of the house. So, we can use the Jesus two more times to protect ourselves. Alright, let's mark everything we know. Our particle counter, we already saw that. 100 to 500. Okay, cool. Uh, we only need thermo. The ghost is literally right here. Why don't we check the thermo? I don't know where the ghost is. There are other... Oh, there is a ghost. There we go. We, we survived one more time. I don't want to do that because I can only protect myself one more time. And then I'm dead. Come on. Oh, it's interacting here, maybe? The only thing we need right now is thermo. That's it. We don't need anything. Is he hunting? Could be. So what happens, right, when the ghost is hunting? You cannot walk like normally. It will reduce your sprint. And you have to be like right here in order to escape. You can just get, you can just escape like that. So if I see the thermal readings, minus 20 to 10, minus 5 to plus 5, plus 10 to plus 30, which we have, I think. Plus 45, I don't know. I think plus 10 to plus 30 is the answer. You see this? Okay. It immediately attacked me. So we cannot use the Jesus anymore. And yes, I think this is the correct answer. So we, if I put everything here, right? Calm, average, and child. Weekend the ghost. If I go here. So these are the things that will protect me. And these are the things that will protect me and irritate the ghost. And these, if I use this, it doesn't protect me anymore. But weirdly enough, we use the Jesus to protect ourselves all this time, which, which is interesting. So first stage in this game is to fill up every evidence. Once we do that, second stage will begin, which is basically exiling the ghost, right? Weakening the ghost or exile or whatever. So first step, we, ha we have to turn on five light sources and then move any ghost to on the location, silver bomb, cross, and then catch a ghost. So these are the steps we need to follow to you know to eradicate this ghost or exile the ghost so i don't need this so first thing is i need to turn on five light sources which i think i already did that but we're gonna do that anyway uh, to protect ourselves we're gonna take the cross which means we can live for five three more hunts and what else silver bomb cross okay we can all do that let's get the silver bomb i think this is the silver bomb yeah, this is the silver bomb, which we are holding it right now. All right, cool. Here's the thing, guys. So I, this this thing will protect me, right? The cross will protect me. Okay, this ghost is aggressive. So the way I escape the ghost, right? I need my flashlight. The way I escape the ghost is by weakening it. And how do I weaken it? By performing all the steps mentioned in the journal it just attacked me right so i think i have some time just turn on the lights that's all we have to do for now at least let's go upstairs and turn on some lights oh let's turn on that light please so it's gonna attack me i think i need to t turn on five lights there we go turn on five light sources which will which is the first step that we have to do oh it's coming Oh no, it's coming. It's coming. I may have to buy another cross, guys. Let me see if I can just get out. It's coming. It's coming. If I break the light line of sight, does that protect me? I don't know. Maybe it does. So breaking the line of sight maybe works, guys. I don't know. So if I go back here, turn on fire light sources, which we did that. 
So move any cursed toy on the location. So what is cursed toy? You may ask. It's hunting now. Let's just get out of here. So there's gonna be a mirror or some sort of cursed item which will glow, which I'm I'm gonna show you in a bit once this ghost is done hunting. I think it's done. Maybe. Okay. Okay. You see that? You can that's our opportunity to take a picture of the ghost. Let's see if we have an objective. This is super bright, I can't do that. I'm sorry guys, I cannot see anything. Hopefully you can see. So I'm gonna read it to you. Light all the candles. These are the side objectives by the way, we don't have to do this. But let's see if I can do that. Maybe picture of the ghost is not that bad. All right, let's, let's try that. Picture of the ghost. Okay, let's go here. The cross will protect me, so I don't have to worry about that. It is super dark, by the way. So the cursed toy, right? It will spawn randomly. Oh, that's my chance to take a picture. Oh no, I missed my chance to take a picture. I was scared. It's hunting. So let's see, can I break the line of sight? Can I break the line of sight? I don't think so. So it works sometimes, but no, that's my chance. I was supposed to click the left click. Well, this is what happens. Okay, looking for the cursed toy. You don't. Oh, that, that is the cursed toy. So let me just survive the hunt if I can. You don't know where I am. You don't know. You have no clue where I am. Please. Please, you don't know where I am. Okay. Pick up, the, pick up the thing. Do you have to crouch? I can't, I can't pick up the thing. Hello? You don't know where I am. So that is one of the cursed items, but I have no clue how to pick it up, apparently. Apparently I'm bad at this game. So if the ghost hunts now, I have to get out of the house because I have no protection on me. Can I pick it up? What? What do you want? Let's break the line of sight. Let's break the line of sight. You don't know where I am. You don't know. Oh my god, this ghost knows. This ghost is terrifying. Okay, here's the thing. There is nothing to protect me now. So I have to get out of the house. Somehow. Please don't hunt me. Don't do that. Alright, cool, cool. So, from what I've heard, the ghost can actually hunt you outside of the house if you play in higher difficulty. How crazy is that? Okay, let's... Do I have to buy anything? I guess I can use this one, but we need to make sure that we can use that one here. We can. As you can see, these are... I think... I don't know what this is called. We can use these to protect ourselves now. So, how do I pick up the item? The cursed item, how do I pick up that? If I see the ghost, I will take a picture. I'm not afraid of you. You are a child. You expect me to... It's hunting. This early? Okay, I can protect myself. Do it. You think I'm scared? Oh, it didn't do it. Okay, so I think this is... Uh, I have three things I'm holding. That's why it is impossible for me to pick up it's coming let's let's throw that so that how the mirror works right no 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 please 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 i will tell you how the mirror works in a bit in a bit so the ghost it will show you the ghost location and as soon as you see the ghost location it will just it's it's literally right here behind me it's a hunt i think i can survive though I broke the line of sight. You, you can't do that. Stop it. Get out of my face. Am I holding camera? I am. I will take the picture. I don't care. Okay, give me this. No. So the reason, no. What do you want ghost? What do you want? 
Okay. Like, I, I think I know that. It's not a hunt. We survived. You piece of trash. Show yourself. I have no clue you guys can see the screen or not because I cannot see anything. Okay, I'm gonna have to see this in the editing. I have no clue if you can see this or not. Where did I place my toy? You piece of... Oh, I thought it took it back. I'm taking this with me. What are you gonna do? I think this is one of the objective. Place that. Okay, take the picture of the ghost, light all candles. Bring the cursed toy to the car. So that is not a cursed toy. I think that's a cursed mirror. Makes sense, but I don't know. So apparently we have to look for the cursed toy now. All this time I spent... Break the line of sight. Just break the line of sight. No, 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 no. If I can go here. No, 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 no. I saw the child. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. It used one of the... Yep, it used one of the candles. I mean, one of the ropes on the candles. So, if I see the child, I will take a picture. I can do that, right? Oh, that is one of the things I have to do. So, what is the next step that I have to do? Move any cursed to toy on the location. And where is that cursed toy? This house is cursed and there is no cursed toy in this house. How is that possible? Shut up, shut up child. Oh, found it, found the cursed toy. All I have to do is move it. So I'm moving it. Okay, I moved it here. There we go. And I'm gonna take this to the truck. That will give me another achievement. Right? There we go. I got 50 buccaronis. You see this, guys? Okay, now silver bomb. Silver bomb is upstairs. So I should go pick it up. So the way I use the silver bomb, right? We have to let it hunt. And when it appears, we have to use the bomb to its face. Don't do that. We're, I'm not ready now. Don't do that. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. You suck. You suck, child. You're a bad child. I hope you know that. This one. There we go. We have the silver bomb. So the ghost appears right in front of your face, right? That's when you have to hit it with this silver bomb. I think so okay you can attack me do it oh child photo no no I keep forgetting I have to left click where are you running child no that was our opportunity I missed it twice I'm gonna take it one of these times I swear I'm gonna take it where are you you think you think I'm scared of you? Maybe I'm scared of you. Okay, here we go. I have to throw this in the face of a child. And... There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So we have to use the cross now. Which is interesting because we already used our cross three times. So let's just throw this out there. So we may have to buy this, guys. I did not mean to... You suck. You suck, bro. Okay, let's buy a cross because, well, I kind of used one. Buy one. There we go. Where is it? Is it in my hands? Okay, here. Cool. I just saw the ghost. Was it outside? There's no way it's outside of the map. I have the cross. Where is it? Where, where are you? I'm going to pokeball you. After that. No! I'm never gonna be... I'm so used to the Phasmo photo picture taking mechanic. Okay. I don't know what that means. You're just whispering. Here we go. Here comes child. We dodged it. Can you show me your face? Because I would really like to take your picture right now. It's turning on lights. I can do that for you if you want. I suck at this game. Um. Okay. 
Okay, child. Yep. I think so too. You wanna show me your face? No? Okay. What now? Okay. I can't interact with this light apparently. Oh, it just broke the light, I guess. Makes sense, right guys? There we go. What are you saying? I don't know what you're saying. If you wanna say something, then say it. Where are you? Okay. I think I understand that. Let's go with that. Shall we? Okay. Cool. Let's go with that. Okay, if I remember correctly, the next step is to just catch the catch the Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> catch the ghost. Alright. Cross is done, so we just have to catch the ghost. Alright. Let's get a ball now. This Pokeball. So the way the catching works, right? You just have to throw the ball towards the ghost, of course. That's how the catching works. But the easiest way you can do that, right? If I go to the shop, there is this thing you can buy. Where is it? This one. Motion sensor. What motion sensor does is it will show you the ghost location, which is really broken in my opinion. And also it costs $200, so you can't really complain about that. So of course we cannot afford that right now. So what I'm gonna do, I have the cross in my hand to protect myself. And if I see the child, I will take a picture and throw a pokeball to its face. So my question is, can I throw the pokeball while it's hunting? It comes to my face, right? Can I throw the pokeball? That's my question. No. 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 Oh my God, I'm scared. Um, what the f It's a baby ghost. It's not like demon or something. So yeah, we did it. Cool. All right, that's my first look at Ghost Watchers. I really enjoyed it and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it too. So if you are, show me some love, subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to leave the like. So yeah, I'm gonna play more. Maybe I'll upload more if you guys want to. Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.